Thanks, ma'am. And hey, what are you, Missy? Some kind of disco singer? Uh, 1980s pop star. <laughs> Good old boy, it's the Iron Man. Just Iron Man, actually. You can each take one piece of bubble gum, okay? Don't stay out too late. Thanks. One piece of gum, seriously? This is totally lame. Wanna go see a movie? Sure, yeah. Looks like we're in anyway. Hey, you dropped your bracelet. Thank you. I like your costumes. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm Ben and this is Amy Rob. My name is Lena. You from Exeter? I don't recognize you. I've lived here forever. So, what's your costume? I'm Mercy Brown. Who? She lived here more than a hundred years ago, and she was a vampire. At least, some people thought so. A vampire? You mean, like Ben? No. It was said that Mercy's spirit rose from the dead to feast on the living. Gross. She's very <laughs> here in town. In fact, I'm on my way to visit her grave. Do you want to come along? Well, actually, we're going to see a movie. Oh, come on, Rob. This is way more fun. It'll be a Halloween adventure. But... The cemetery's not far. Fine. Okay. <laughs> so, Lena, tell us the story of Mercy Brown. It happened in 1892. Exeter was much smaller and very isolated. The Brown family lived on a beautiful, humble farm. Their lives have been filled with tragedy. Mercy Brown, 19, lies in bed, shivering and sweating. She coughs violently <laughs> into your handkerchief, says red with blood. George, Mercy's father, stands across the room with Dr. McCoy. There's really nothing to do, Doctor. There is no cure for consumption, even the cause is a debate. Yes, I know. That's what they told me a decade ago. The consumption claimed my wife, and then months later, they claimed my oldest daughter. Doctor, what am I done to deserve this? However, my deepest condolences. She's so frail. Her body is wasted away. Your son, Edo, how is his health? No sorrow. His consumption has only gone worse. Oh, doctor, what will I do? Mercy died later that night. What's consumption anyway? I already Googled it. Consumption is known as a tuberculosis. The disease is caused by a bacterium that usually attacks the lungs. Highly contagious. It was once the leading cause of death in the United States. Responsible for nearly a quarter of all deaths by 1800. Scientists discovered the bacterium in 1882, but news was slow to reach rural areas. So the cause was known, but they hadn't heard about it in Exeter? Well, it says here a cure wasn't developed until the 1940s, so knowing the cause would have done Mercy any good anyway. So, wait, what do vampires have to do with it? Mercy's body was placed in the family crib until spring because the frozen ground made digging impossible. Edwin was seen to follow his sister. George sits by the son's bed. Edwin's cough is bad. <laughs> My oldest son. My dear George, how are you? How is young Edwin? We have all been praying for him. We still mourn the loss of mercy. George, we've come to discuss something. You feel so sorry for the family. Consumption is a scourge. Let's not give hope for Edwin. Have you considered alternative treatments? Alternative treatments? You see, George, some in town believe that Edwin's sickness is caused by certain spirits. Mm -hmm. Evil spirits of the dead come to the feast on the blood and the flesh of the living. Absurd. There is a very old remedy that we believe could save Edwin. Leave my home now! George, please! How dare you propose such a thing? It's your only chance! What do you have to lose? Your refusal puts the whole town at risk. Ow! Father, I heard something about a remedy. What did they say? What if it works? I'm not suggesting. It's horrible, I know, but... <laughs> what if it works? Wait.